Zeta here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. Hi, it's good to have you. Today we are in chapter 21 of our TOS book. We're still learning from the Overcomer Secret book. And um, today we're going to be talking about input number two, which is revelation knowledge. Now, in last week's lesson, we talked about input number one. Do you remember what that input was? And, and yeah, attitudes of humility and faith is what we call the first input. Today we're going to be talking about the second input, which is revelation knowledge, and very soon we'll add it to our list, okay? Our list, of, our growing list of how to get more of God's, God's grace in our lives, okay? Let's open up with the word of prayer, and then we'll get right to today's study. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts, and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Out to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, good work. So um, today we're talking about Revelation knowledge. If you went to the grade K's um, Bible journey classes, and included in Bible journey is our TOS Friday study, then you will already know what Revelation knowledge is. And to be honest, you'll know what mo most of what we're talking about is. But it's good to just do a review and make sure that you fully can understand it because from one year to the next year, your brain is growing, your brain cells are multiplying, and you're able to retain more and understand more. So that's why we'll be reviewing this every year <laughs> to make sure you really, really get it until having certain attitudes and praying for certain things becomes just second nature for you, okay? So what is revelation knowledge? Before we talk about revelation knowledge, let's talk about natural knowledge, okay? Do you know what, it, what natural knowledge is? Natural knowledge is something that you acquire. Um, it's knowledge you acquire based on your five senses, right? So this is water, right? This is water, and I know it's water. You know it's water. How do you know that this is water? Well, because you've seen it before. How else do you know that it's water? Because one day when you were a baby, your mommy pointed to this and said, water. And you replied with, wah, wah. <laughs> and then your mommy said, water. And you said, wah, wah. And eventually you matured your speaking abilities and you said, water. And she said, water, water. Oh, okay, water. Got it. <laughs> and now you look at it and you say, that's water. I know it's water because I was trained to know that this is water my mother told me this is water i've seen water before i've tasted water before and water depending on where it's from sometimes it has a certain fresh scent you know and so i've smelt that fresh water before and i just i've smelt it and you know i've experienced water i've bathed in water i've cooked with my water i've had to drink water i've experienced water mrs nita i know this is water i'm gonna say kudos and what you just told me then was that you know that that's water because you've experienced water many times in the past using your using your natural senses. You were able to see it and smell it and taste it and you've even felt it. And you know, if you pay close attention, you can hear it. You know, as you're moving it up and down. Like I know that's water. I've experienced it with my natural senses. Well, that's what natural knowledge is. Okay experiencing and gaining knowledge as a consequence of your natural senses. Revelation knowledge, however, is the knowledge you acquire that does not come from natural senses, okay? So that's the big difference. Okay, natural knowledge here, revelation knowledge here. Natural comes from the natural. Revelation comes from God. Revelation knowledge is a certain type of knowing. Um, sometimes people like to call those aha moments. Have you ever heard someone say, ah, oh. it's like you're just, you've been pondering something, you've just been wondering and asking yourself questions, or maybe you've been praying about something. I really just wish I knew the answer to this. And then one day you're just sitting there on your couch, not thinking about it. Maybe you're just relaxing, praying to God, or maybe just singing a song, or maybe you're just sitting there peacefully when all of a sudden you say, Oh, that's the answer <laughs> that's happened to me. You're like, oh, okay. And that would be, we call it aha moment. But that's, that's revelation knowledge. It's knowledge that comes from God. And um, the God will give us revelation knowledge 
in that way it does not come from it does not come from something you've acquired because you've seen it or heard it someone told you you smelled it it's just i received that thank you lord you know and so it's a little bit different um the reason we need to have revelation knowledge is because when we get revelation knowledge we um when we have it we can better know god right so revelation knowledge is going to come through the word of god which i don't have my bible here but the word of god is um the bible is full of knowledge full of information about god and it's so helpful to have knowledge about god it's like oh man this is so great you know some people just love god so much they just want to know more can i get more you know the bible is full of knowledge about god but oftentimes um, you'll find that you're you may still have questions you may read something and read something else and read something else in your bible and you say wow i've read all that i still have questions have you ever experienced that i still have questions that's when you need to depend on god to teach you the psalmist david said you teach me your law and you teach me your ways you know so um if you want to be taught by the holy spirit god then you have to um certain then you have to rely on god okay so why do we need revelation knowledge because revelation knowledge is going to teach us or help us to know more about god that we would not be able to perhaps get straight from the bible that happens a lot there um left alone the bible by itself can confuse some people and you have individuals who say no the bible can't confuse it can and they're dishonest if they say that it can um it can and it does and that's why we have 100 denominations in the christian faith or whatever you know 200 denominations it can be a confusing book and people can read it and get one interpretation someone else can read it and get another interpretation and everyone has all these different interpretations, but God has the correct interpretation. So the point is, uh, revelation knowledge help us. It'll help us to know more about the truth of God, and it's going to come from God. An example, an example of this is Peter. The Lord Jesus said, "Hey," looked around at his disciples and said, "Who uh, do men say that I am?" And everyone was like, well, some people say you're the prophet to come. Some people say you're Elijah. Some people say, you know, you're this. Yeah. And the Lord said, well, who do you say that I am? And what did Peter say? Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Everyone just kind of looking at him like, well, how did you know that? <laughs> and Jesus said, blessed art thou, Simon Peter, for flesh and blood didn't teach you this. But my father, which is in heaven, taught this to you. And Jesus said, that's a blessing. He said, blessed art thou. No one else got that blessing at that time but Peter. Peter knew that the Lord Jesus was the Christ because he had been wondering, asking questions, inquiring of the Lord. Look, can this really be? And he got an answer straight from above. So, uh, so revelation knowledge will help us to know more about God, know more about Jesus. Okay, so what it is, is knowledge that comes from God without any natural contamination. And why do we need it? To grow our knowledge of God. Without that revelation knowledge, we're going to be just as, potentially just as lost and confused as most people in the church, okay? And like I said, some people may say that that's not true, but it, it certainly is. Um, how do we get this revelation from God's word? How do we get this revelation knowledge from we get it from God's word, firstly. Go to your Bible, read your Bible. You're in the first grade and you can read very well at this point. Read your Bible, ask mommy and daddy to help you with interpretations. But there are times when you say, I don't really know that. And there are times, if your parents are honest, they'll say, I don't know that either. <laughs> you'll say, mommy and daddy, why did this happen? They'll say, I don't know, you know. In those situations, you can talk to God about it. So how do you get revelation knowledge? We know what it is. We know why we need it. Now we want to know how. How do we get it? You pray and talk to God. That's what Peter did. Anyone else who received revelation knowledge, like the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul said, hey, no man taught me this. I received this as revelation straight from Jesus Christ. How can you say that, Paul? Because he reached out to Jesus Christ. <laughs> so if you want to have revelation knowledge straight from Jesus Christ, then you need to go to him 
And um, that's what he says anyways. Come unto me, all you who are um, heavy and heavy laden with sins. I will give you rest. You know, you know, he actually promises he'll give us rest. Rest even in our minds, even with respect to inquiring of him, even with respect to lots of questions we may have regarding who he is or, you know, um, regarding certain aspects about God or maybe his character or maybe his name, maybe his ways. Maybe we have questions about different topics in the Bible or we just need clarity. Then you have to come unto me. You have to go to Jesus. All you who are heavy laden and weary, weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. So I would just encourage you today, if you want revelation knowledge, if you want to know more about God, if you're one of those kids, very inquisitive and want to know more about God, you just can't quite, I, I wish I knew more. Um, you can't, but you have to go to him to get it. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's add revelation knowledge to our list here. So to get God's, to get more of God's grace, it's actually... Uh, you need to have humility and faith. We talked about that last week. Today, we're also talking about the need to have revelation knowledge. The uh, Apostle Peter said, growing in grace in, in revelation knowledge. Okay, in revelation knowledge. We need to be growing in revelation knowledge on a daily basis or on a continual basis. The Bible says that by doing that, we won't become unfruitful with regards to our knowledge of God, according to the Apostle Paul. So we need to know more about God so that we're not unfruitful. Can you believe that? Not knowing enough about God can it cause us to become unfruitful. And you remember what it means to be unfruitful, to stop bearing fruit. So we need to be growing in our knowledge of God on a continual basis. Talk to God, pray to God, and ask Him for revelation knowledge. So there. So what we teach our people to do is to pray um, two types of prayers in the day. You want to pray for revelation knowledge. We can say wisdom, revelation knowledge. And we also, in the morning, you can pray to ask God to establish his kingdom in your life or ask God to help you to, to obey him. Okay, so God, please help me to obey you today. In the evening, late at night, just before you sleep, you can say, God, I want to know more about you. You don't have to call it Revelation Knowledge. Could you teach me more about you? So in the morning, you can say, let me write this down for those students. There are always those one or two students who really take my words very seriously. If you want to pray each day, you can do morning prayers. Your morning prayers and you can do evening prayers. This is a good place to start. Okay. In the morning, your prayers could consist of God, please help me to obey you today, okay? We, you just to keep it simple, you can say, please help me to obey you. Please help me to obey you, God. Okay, so that's the first prayer you can um, pray to God in the morning so that he can help you throughout the day. I would say, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We don't necessarily need that while we're sleeping. We need that as we're going through the day. But then at evening, before you before you lie down to sleep, you can ask God, please teach me more about you. Please teach me more about you. Or if there are specific questions you have, Maybe you have a very specific question. That's the place you would want to do that. So morning, God, please help me to obey you today. I don't want to sin. I want to honor my family. I want to honor my parents and show humility toward, you know, be humble toward everyone, toward my peers. Please help me to do that. And then at night, you can say, God, please teach me uh, more, more about you. I want to know more about you. Please help me to know more about you. Please open my eyes so I can see you more clearly. Praying those two specific prayers. Each day is a good combination, okay? I am seriously, seriously not joking. That's a really great place to start. So I encourage you to do that now. And once you start now, it can become a lifelong habit. And by the time you reach my age, you'll be, you, you will be very well pleasing to God. Okay, don't wait until you get my age to start. You want to start as a child. Get to know who God is. Ask him to help you to obey him. Be like Daniel. 
He was just a child when he was taken to Babylon. The three Hebrew boys, they were just young children when they were taken to Babylon. And yet they found how to please God every single day. They pleased God so much. God gave more wisdom to Daniel than to any of the other guys in Babylon, including all the wise men, magicians, and astrologers. God gave Daniel so much wisdom because Daniel asked. And he was well-pleasing to the Lord because he prayed three times a day. This is only two prayers from a young child. He was praying three times a day, asking God to help him to be better obedient and teach and asking God to teach him his ways. Teach me more about you. Okay. You can't go wrong praying those prayers. And you also want to make time for Thanksgiving prayers. That would be a great third prayer to put there. Don't forget to give thanks to God for everything. Right? He gives us everything we can give thanks to him. It's the least we can do. Thank you so much for coming to class, for being a part of today's lesson. Um, actually, before I let you go, let me ask you these questions. Regarding Revelation knowledge, we're in chapter 21. What are the two different types of knowledge that exist? And how are they different? So that's one question. What are the two types? How are they different? And question two, why is it necessary to receive revelation knowledge from God? Why is it even important? Why do we need this revelation knowledge? I don't give you a hint. It has something to do with this. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to class and being a part of today's Bible study. Until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.